Linda here from JTS 12 Volt with Rowan in the workshop. Now we're doing our how-to series and we've got a few questions. So I've got one here from Jason Polifrone. Now he'd like to know, Rowan, how to set up a shunt for lithium or AGM. So you're in the process of building one of the Power Easies. I'll spin around and you can explain. Cheers. All right, so uh, Jason and everyone else, um, all, all you do, you jump into your app. So the Smart Shunt app, you'll have to go through passwords and updates, all that sort of stuff. The passwords come now. I don't know if everyone knows. Um, they now come with a little card. And on the card, you'll have a sticker and everyone has its own pin. So six zeros is no, no, no longer the norm. Each one will have its own pin, all right? So you get in there, you get into the app, as you can see there. You jump into settings, all the settings come up, you choose battery, right? And then you've got your battery settings. The only real difference for a shunt to read is your battery charged voltage. Um, and that is just a sort of calculation that happens inside there. So all we would do is we set for lithium 13.5, for AGM 13.2, um, and you'll find that that works perfectly for any of those sort of um, batteries. Um, other batteries, calciums, those sort of things, you can certainly work that out or talk to the manufacturer to get the, the charged voltage for that. Um, and some lithiums, like the Provolt lithiums that we sell, we give those a 13.7 for their charged voltage because they can sit a little bit higher than the average. Um, so that's how you set that. And that's the only real difference. The other one is your discharge floor there. Um, as far as I know, it doesn't seem to affect the shunt too much. The BMV shunt and gauge, it does make a difference for your alarming and that sort of thing. Um, but uh, for a lithium, you set it at 20 because that's your preferred discharge floor. And for an AGM is 50% because that's about what you can use out of that AGM battery. All right, but the shunt doesn't really turn on or turn off any of the charging um, features or usability of, of the system. It just calculates amps coming in and out. All right, so by not having it set at the right voltage won't do any damage at all to the battery um, that, you've, that you're using. All right, it's just something to help the settings work better and the synchronization to keep, um, keep holding properly. All right, so that's how to change from lithium to AGM for a uh, Victron shunt or BMV. All right, thanks very much.